Whether we believe in our capacity for self-government or whether we abandon the American Revolution and confess that a little intellectual elite in a far distant capital can plan our lives for us better than we can plan them ourselves. What is the difference between a Democrat and a Socialist? The sure. greatest crisis today is not the Middle East, is not Iraq, is Syria, but it's climate change. Yeah. All the people don't have freedom, all the people don't have justice, and all the people don't have power, so that means none of us do. The big government lovers painted a picture of doom and gloom in 2011. The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. We see it in the in the STEM program. You know, people have talked about this STEM program being such a great deal. Welcome to the Abolitionist's Roundtable, your all-access pass to the 2016 Black Conservative Revolution. Join the conversation at 734-822-1600. Now, here are your hosts, Del Marsh, Phil Stargell, and Janice Daniels. Well, good morning. The Abolitionist Roundtable of Michigan is on the air, and uh, this is your host, Phil Stargell. And today we have a very, very, very special guest, a special treat for the Wham! listening audience. Everybody's probably familiar with our guest, but uh, it is such a great honor to have him in the studio with us this morning. And I would like to wish a, a, a very welcome to you, Milt, Milt Harris of Joshua's Trail is with us in studio this morning. And uh, it is a great honor. I want to shake your hand <laughs> and tell you that uh, that uh, the people are in for a treat this morning. They are in for a treat. Matter of fact, uh, Janice is not in the studio with us this morning, but she's going to be on the other Yeah, end. we did an exchange program. <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we did do a <laughs> Oh boy, yeah. So yeah, we'll be listening to her later on this morning. But yeah, it's a, it, it is an honor to have uh, Milk with us this morning, Phil. Yes, and Milk. Uh, well, Phil, uh, when you when you gave an intro, I was looking around to see who you were talking about. <laughs> but you know, Phil, I'm I'm glad to be here this morning, man. And you know, to watch you and Dale do what you do and up here in this area yeah. where, you know, uh, it's anti, it's anti liberal uh, uh, I said conservative was so-called uh, paradise, I don't think, up in this area. But y'all got a lot of nerve, and y'all y'all put on a good show. And I'm glad to be here because, see, we're all fighting the same fight. Yes, yeah, yes. We're fighting the same yeah, fight. Yeah, we're all the same see, team. And, and, you know, it's, it's, it's the team mm -hmm. is, uh, is, is expanding, but it's slow because, you know, we have a message. Right. That uh, that we got from uh, our great leader, yes, the sir. Reverend Le Levon Yule. Right. I mean, uh, this guy is man. When I first heard him, I yeah. I, I, I stopped the car and almost got yeah. out and said, "Hallelujah!" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, it, it was it was really a God sent thing, man. You know, I think about how Dale when he first uh, called the program, we didn't know what nothing about him, man. Yeah. But we like what he had to say. Yeah. And then you came on board, and of course my guy Charlie, man. Yeah. Oh, know, yeah. He uh, he came in, and yeah. it was a godsend thing. Yeah. Yes. Because when I heard about Reverend, I was watching the car one Saturday, man. Uh -huh. I heard this guy talking, this guy talked to. Yeah. Where did this come from? Yeah. Yeah. And how I many yeah. one guy yeah. Yeah. Saying, right. saying what I've been thinking, yeah. right? Yeah. See, because I've been fighting the fight against these people for years, way yeah. before I ran into Joshua's trail, yeah. right? But to hear this guy, and so Reverend, I called him, and I, and, you know, and I've been calling talk shows for a number of years, but I decided to call this guy and got him right away. I guess he was, that's when he was small. Yeah. <laughs> got, got him right away, man. And then he turned me on. Then he said, well, I got somebody I want you to talk to. Mm -hmm. So he gave me a number. I called a number, and it was the wrong number. So I called him back again. Then he gave me, uh, he said, oh, I gave you the wrong number. One digit was off, but it was wrong. Mm. So I called, and I got Charles. Mm. Then I had started talking to Charles, and then at first Reverend told us, said, well, he wanted me to come down uh, one week and Charles one week. Man. But the chairman of the board, which is his wife, heard us, and she told him, said, well, hey, they sound good together, so why don't you have them come in together, right? Yes. And yes. from that, that was the embryo. Well, yes. We went from that to where we are today in Joshua's Trail, and then you are the offshoot of that. Yes, So yes. it was all a godsend thing, uh, man. Yeah. Because he didn't recruit us 
and we didn't know nothing about him. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, I, I remember Dale first call, you know saying? Mm -hmm. He called yeah. in and said, mm -hmm. uh, tried to push his weight around a little bit. <laughs> <you know saying>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, this morning, uh, Phil and Dale, I'm so glad to be here because we, we need to talk about some things. Yeah. We're in serious times. Well, what, what, what we'll do is we're going to go to our agenda right okay. quick. And then we are going to... Uh, we're going to let you get, give your opinion because you're the guest today. And, mm -hmm. uh, but first, let's do a, a few things. I want to I wanna say that I wish uh, all of our veterans this morning. Yes. Uh, I hope that they have uh, uh, a great weekend. I mean, it is a weekend for them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and especially if you know of uh, a World War II vet, because they are, they are going, you know, like uh, 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 MacArthur said. Oh, yeah, well, you know, you know uh, time they, takes its toll. Yeah. You so they're, they're, they're leaving. And if you have one uh, dear and near to you, you know, give him his special day today. I mean, because they saved the world, and we, we need another generation. That's the greatest generation. We need a great right. generation now. Well, you know, Phil, I tell you, those one, those guys who fought in that war Whew. was the last, what I would say, the macho man. They're the last okay? of the real men. See, now we got all kind of perverts in there and, <laughs> and, and, and high heel shoe wearing people, man, and, and, you know, switching in the kitchen and all that kind of stuff. And stand. See, we really don't have... A military that's willing to fight men to men. No, it's not. Okay, you no, know what I'm saying? No, Obama and, and, has a new army. Yeah, yeah. new there army, and it's army. diluted. Let's yeah. let's face it. it. You know, I, when we used to talk about the army, we used to say the military. Yeah, that's right. Now, what the liberals have done, men and women anyway, in the military. Yeah, that's well, right. the women's is not equally fighting like a man is, yeah. and that's a distortion. Yeah. And this is what political correctness does. And I'm saying that to people out there, this generation is passing on. They're the last of the real warriors, you see? Yeah, you know, and the thing about it is uh, um, th there's a lot of, of changes that have been brought about, and, uh, you know, it, 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 it is uh, hopefully, you know, because that's what we got, you know, a hope that, uh, that they can carry on the challenge, yeah. well, you know, but, uh, but and we've got to figure out a way to carry on from here, like you, mm -hmm. like like you said uh, about the island, yeah. you're stuck on an island. You're stuck on there. Yeah. You know, uh, we gotta we gotta get through this uh -huh. and and get on the right track. But but you know what, Phil, the right track is gonna be. You can't have an Iman in the White House. Yes. Okay. Yes. You have to start telling the truth and saying mm -hmm. we have enemies. Mm -hmm. When you have people to come to this country, holler, holler, Akbar, we want to kill Christians and Jews, and you yeah. inviting them in, talking about uh, uh, you being humane. Yeah. There's nothing humane about bringing in your own killers. That's right. You said we, we have to start talking about these illegal immigrants coming here. Why would you have a Democrat party or any party that reaches out to lawbreakers? Yeah. People who come across our borders illegally are lawbreakers. Yeah. So they're supposed to be in the shadows. Well, yeah. actually, so, huh? you know, we just saw we just saw a demonstration of, of what they do yeah. uh, at a Trump rally in California. Exactly. They're anarchists yeah. uh, right now. Right mm -hmm. now, they're covering their faces. Mm -hmm. they're, they're waving the, the Mexican, Mexican flag. flag. That's, yeah. that's yeah. disrespectful for a country yeah. that's giving them the freedom mm -hmm. right now and giving them all kind of social programs. Yeah. And right. giving them the and, support to, uh, to come back and, and, and tear down right. the country. Because yeah. that's exactly, exactly what they're doing. Exactly what they're doing. And, and this anarchy is not in a vacuum and, field. And our judicial system have given them mm -hmm. the ability mm -hmm. to take down their opposition. Mm -hmm. We have opposed this kind of nonsense for years mm. in the Republican Party, supposedly. Mm. But even re even Democrats opposed it. Yeah, even Bill Clinton, time, Bill Clinton, Clinton and time, Hillary Clinton Bill Clinton were against Clinton and Hillary were mm. against this yeah. right here. Yeah. But but you know, a roach is a roach is a roach. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mean I don't care what you call it. The Democrat Party. Look what these people do when they come here. The, the legal immigrants go to the Democrat Party. Yeah. The homosexual and the large part go the agenda. The yeah. homosexual gravitates to the Democrat Party. Right. Abortion people who kill babies gravitate to the Democrat Party. Right. You saying the illegal, I mean, uh, anarchists go to the Democrat Party. This should tell you something. 
you don't go to a place where you're not welcome, right? Right. right. All of these people in the Democrat Party, Hillary just got up there the other day talking about civil rights, human rights, and LBGT rights. Yeah. Where did that come from? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What part of the Constitution is the LBGT XYZ, <laughs> yeah. right? huh? Exactly right. See, and like I told him when I was down there <laughs> in, in the, in the, when, on, when, on Joshua's Trail, the way we can solve this nonsense is we bring in about enough porta johns to cover all the alphabets, you know what I'm saying? And the L's can go here, and the yeah. T can go there, yeah. and then if we want to just condense it. Oh, hold on, so you saying that, uh, that everybody heterosexual can keep their bathroom? We'll keep the normal so, bathroom. Yeah. So you want to give them their own bathrooms, and well, they're what again? Well, no, we're not, not bathrooms there, laboratories. Well, laboratories, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But well, we won't take the bathroom, take, take the laboratory. <laughs> Give them their own laboratory. So if you yeah, so they put their jobs, but, but they want to put their own alphabet on them. Yeah, put okay. their alphabet. <laughs> because they want to go into the shower with 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 women. No, but no, you got to you got to you got to keep the dingling on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go in there. <laughs> see, see, no, this is this. You know what this is really is, Dale and Phil. You got to kill God. Mm -hmm. yeah. They either saying God made a mistake when he made us, yeah. but they have never found a homosexual skeleton. They can tell a female and a male. Yeah. So how come they don't have their own skeleton, right? Mm -hmm. how and, come and, what, and what about the transgender? I mean, transgender, they ain't got them either. Because, because see, <laughs> they, all of them is a homosexual. Yeah, it's all homosexual. Well, I want to yeah. I, I wanna do something mm -hmm. right quick. Mm -hmm. uh, Derek, would you put on that, uh, that clip? Because this is a fairly... It's about two minutes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Go ahead with it, uh, Derek. Uh, Derek. Now, but I'll just say this. You know, I don't usually call out witnesses, but here's what the written testimony says. And this is Mrs. Harriet. We are teaching young people a terrible lesson. Mm. I believe that I am a Russian princess. That doesn't make me a Russian princess, even if my friends and acquaintances are willing to indulge my fantasy. Nor am I a great horned owl, just because, as I have been told, I happen to share some personality traits with those feathered creatures.